Alright, now this is what the main menu looks like. As you can tell, it's very quickly made. I have no idea what the heck Fire Core even means. But oh well. That's just something AT Games decided to do. This has a lot of famous games on it. Alex Kidd, which Ayer's famous, but it really stinks. Alien Storm, which is okay. It's sort of a beat-em-up. Altered Beast, which is the launch game for the Sega Genesis, which explains why it's on here, but it's a bad game all around. Eh, Era Flash is an okay shoot 'em up. Buster Brothers, I don't even know. Oh, Bonanza Brothers. I'm just getting reminded of some other game. I think it was on the PlayStation. Anywho. Eh. Go ahead and play. Nah, eh, not Comic Zone. Let's do it to control. Oh, I know. Nobody's ever heard of this game, Sonic the Hedgehog. Ooh. Play it anyways. Though you can at least be able to tell the audio problems. Turn the volume up. Though you can hear it crystal clear. Whenever it starts up, you'll definitely hear a difference. This disappointed me so much. This would be a perfect emulation, only if it had the music right. Ah, oh, jeez. I can't take it. The music's killing me. Inside. Yeah, a game you might not know. Definitely not Decap Attack. That game's horrendous. Uh. Ooh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Oh, man, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Anybody who's familiar with this game know how, knows how weird it is, it's really. Whew. Right? Nothing unusual yet, right? Till Pinkish. <laughs> oh jeez. It was like the funniest meme looking thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, they have to make the title quite obvious. As with a lot of Sega Genesis games. And the music is just awful on this with the terrible emulation. It's it's even worse than Sonic Hedgehog's was. Dr. Buttonick, a beautiful bean machine. Come to my arms, my spooky. I have no idea what the last word said, just make a rumble noise. This is actually an okay game, considering it's just like a Tetris attack clone. Probably spent about a quarter of my time on this console playing this game. Anyways, I don't want to just make my entire freaking video about that. Ugh. Jeez. No, I'm not going to play Alex Kid. Just sends you there. After each time you exit to the menu. Hmm. Duh. Here's a good one you might not have heard of. Say... Sonic 3D Blast. People really hate this game, but I'm going to Play a little bit of it anyways. Has a nice little cutscene that they cut down! And the sound's off. <laughs> I love that guy yells that at the beginning. Holy crap, it's Big the Cat! Well, maybe, I don't know. There's originally like six more seconds of music there and video, but they kind of just cut that out for no reason. Because you know how stupid AT Games is. Can't imagine how bad the handheld is for this game. Basically, in this game, 
you have to collect rings to get all the Chaos Emeralds, like, you know, in the bonus stages. Like, like any other Sonic game, but it's in this weird isometric pseudo-fake 3D-looking thingy. I wish this wasn't analog TV, though. I could show you how sort of good this game is. The graphics are awesome, but everything else just sucks because the gameplay is kind of crappy and it takes a while to get used to controls. Once you get to Rusty Ruin, you just get bored. Then I'm like, I can't take it. Even if I worked for half an hour on this game, I just don't want to play it. <laughs> It'd be good if it wasn't for the poor gameplay. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know what I'm going to do with this game. No, not shove it up my ass. The sound is so bad in the original, but this is even worse. Except the intro music. I actually gets helped a little by the deep. A uh, nice, crappy intro here. Especially with Robotnik shooting snot at you. Yeah, great idea. Yay! Why must he not drown? Trippy, huh? Anyways. Go back to the main menu here. Oh, jeez. The options menu. You're ready to die. It's just so bad. I couldn't help but have you guys listen to this awful staticky nonsense that is supposed to be music. It just sounds like heavy metal in the original, but this is just awful. Can you hear me still? There. Ah, oh, jeez. I saved you guys from your doom by listening to Sonic spinball music and that poopy emulation. Chakan. Mm. I can't remember what game that is. Oh, yeah, it's that one where you have to time all your jumps exactly right, otherwise you die. That sucks. Uh... Fantasy Star is a good RPG, which actually allows you to save. <laughs> which is a very good idea for this console. That's the only thing that they actually did good on was Fantasy Star. And I'd never played it previously, meaning it's kind of a hard to find game. So, I mean, I couldn't complain about the sound or anything. I mean, it sounded okay. Eh. Sonic and Knuckles was impossible. I couldn't play that game at all. I only got pa past the first three levels and got to the aircraft thingamabobber. I don't know what the heck that was actually called. I can't remember. I'm not going to play the game just to figure it out. Ah, oh, and here's a good game that you guys need to see. Vector Man. Makes me think of, like, Rayman on the PlayStation. The game is almost identical as far as gameplay and graphics. Because it uses different sprites combined together to make each character. Uh, okay intro, even if it does reek of 90s poor shading, but you know. What do you expect? It's like... Let's see, what's this? 1995. Two thousand forty-nine. Ha. Ah. Whenever Trump became president again. You can tell this game's graphics are actually really nice. Scenario did this soon as this. Even has a nice little bit of lighting whenever you fire. Yeah. That's perfect as games get on the Genesis. You know. It's like if Sonic 3D Blast was actually fun. Even though this game is, like, really hard. And the enemies in this game are complete simpletons, so... They don't even know to aim down. Yay. I don't know what this 2x thing does, but I'll pick it up. Okay. They just flew away. Alright. Oh, you miss with me, Mofo? Oh, crap. <laughs> What's it up? Uh. 
You can see what I like, why I like this game. Anyways, that's a lot of storage space on this. Uh, might as well end it now. Well, there you have it. Game console that is underrated, but for a good reason, mostly. Other than Vector Man, this, some of the Sonic games, except Spinball, Ugh, that's awful. And Comic Zone, which, you know, I'll review that someday. Even if it is 16-bit, I'm a 32-bit gamer, but it'll work. Goodbye.